Screening side, we're competing with Roche, a much bigger company. In the U.S., we have about a 90% share, and they have about a 10% share, and the blood screening market is not growing that much. So we have to look for new bugs uh, or expand geographically, which we're doing. So we're taking some of the money and buying companies. Tepnel was a, uh, a company engaged in transplant diagnostics, both on the donor and the receiver, and our technology is good for that. We've also got respiratory infectious disease product. We made a big investment, about $50 million in Pacific Biosciences. This is a company that does sequencing. There should be one more slide. But if there isn't, that's fine. We're using the uh, cash that we have for acquisitions and for buying back shares. It's a pleasure to talk to you this afternoon, and I look forward to your questions. And we'll stay as long as you have time to talk about biotechnology. Thank you very much. Thank you. Muchas gracias, señor Nordov. Muchísimas gracias. ¿Qué les pareció? Muy interesante, ¿verdad? Creo que, que realmente algo muy interesante, una plática de veras que vale la pena. La gente que la escuchó, yo creo que se lleva muchísimas cosas. Y bueno, eh, no sé si me pueden decir allá adentro, señores, si vamos a tener un momentito para hacer preguntas y respuestas. Sí, le van a poner eh, el traductor al señor Nordoff. Y vamos a ver si alguno de ustedes tiene alguna, alguna pregunta para hacerle al señor Nordoff, las manitas levantadas. Tenemos aquí jóvenes también, que en el momento que usted levante la mano, hay que esperarse a que lleguen con el micrófono. Por favor, es importante que nos den su nombre y de dónde vienen para que este, hagan, formulen la pregunta. A ver, tenemos una pregunta. Este joven de aquí, este joven aquí en medio, si es posible, señorita, por favor, aquí estamos. Adelante. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, studying first semester in CETIS Universidad. Uh, high school. I'm studying first semester in high school, CETIS Universidad. Uh, I want to study mechatronic and then specialize in biotech of prothesis. But I want to know if it's more convenient first mechatronics and then biotechnology or first medicine and specialize in mechatronics, in your opinion. Hmm. I'm, I'm a great believer, if I understood your question properly, in learning the basics. You know, learn the basics. Uh, you know, you have to, uh, to learn how to paint in the classical manner before you can become an impressionistic painter. So I would stick with your basic studies with uh, chemistry and biology, and then go where your interests lie. Because you're going to excel at things you like to do. So find out what lights your fire. Muchísimas gracias. Thank you. Otra pregunta, señor, por favor. Hi, I'm Leo Peralta, journalist from Expansion Magazine in Mexico City. I know that uh, uh, President Obama is making a huge transformation of the healthcare system in the United States. Uh, which kind of opportunities do you f see for? Uh, outsourcing this kind of process of testing or developing uh, genetic tests for blood or other fluids uh, in Mexican markets, for example? That could be my question. Are you asking what is the potential for the blood screening market in Mexico? Uh, the, for example, the outsourcing of, for example, taking uh, samples from uh, American citizens and processing them in, in Mexico, for example, for doing it ch cheaper yeah. or faster. I think right now the, the, the best potential in biotech would be for assembling and, and manufacturing equipment. Um, I think that would be the best. I think that's where you, you bring the, the highest value to the equation with your experienced labor and your inexpensive labor compared to the United States and your proximity to the U.S. for all those reasons that we listed up above. Um, on the more sophisticated stuff um, like uh, processing blood and all the rest of that, I presume that Gambro does some of that, do they, here locally? They may, because Gambro we know is a blood processor, collecting blood and then processing it, fractionating it, taking some chemicals out. If they do that, then you've got a great start. 
The important thing, I think, is to get a new technology here to begin with, and then building on that. Because uh, you know, once a, a monoclonal antibody company comes here to produce antibodies and culture, then they've broken the ground, and they have the experienced employees, and it's been successful, then they will attract others. But it's, it's getting that first new company in, that's the difficult part. Gracias. Yes, Otra pregunta más, la señorita. Ah, permíteme, corazón. Deja nada más que te pasen el micrófono. Ahí viene la señorita corriendo. Gracias. Está apagado el micro, por favor. Sí, a ver. Ahí está. Yeah, it's working. <laughs> oh, it's mine. Mine's working. Ah, no, no hay este. Algo pasó con el micrófono. ¿Habrá otro micrófono? Excuse me, sir. I ah, ok, question. mientras. Mi, no hay problema en lo que te lo componen. Tenemos aquí otra pregunta. Ahorita te lo pasamos. Just, Gracias. Just ask me in English and I'll repeat it. Okay. Um, I wanted to know if there's a difference between the process of patenting in Mexico and United, or United States. The process of patenting? Yeah. Patent, patenting. I think basically the United States has changed to be the way the rest of the world is. Uh, in the United States, it used to be first to invent, and that's when it started. In the rest of the world, it was first to file, and, and now I think it's first to file. A little easier to establish. So as soon as you file, that's basically when the entire 17, 18 years begins. So Mexico is right up there with the rest of the world to develop. You have to patent globally if you have a big product. You have to patent in Mexico, in the United States, in all the countries in Europe, and all the major markets in Asia. Now, some countries like China don't respect the patents as much as other countries, but you still have to put a patent there. Muchas gracias. Ahora sí. Um, you, you said there are around 100 industries, medical industries here in Baja, and over 700 in the States. Are you saying like there is a better, better area of opportunity in the other side, like in America, to work as an engineer in biotech or something like that? <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> no, it's different. Um, we, we talked about biotech being a new business, a, a new form of endeavor. And it started in California and in Boston. And that's where it grew. Now it's expanding to Mexico. And it started in those places because they had first-class academic and research institutes. And it's still doing well there, and now it's coming down to other countries. I mean, the United States is not going to have a lead in biotechnology innovation forever. It's going to migrate to other countries. And I think Tijuana, Baja, has a great opportunity to take some of that growth and prosper with it. Otra pregunta más, alguien? Sí, gracias. Aquí. Uh, hello, uh, I work with World Challenge Company. Uh, my question is: uh, You mentioned that you are uh, getting a lot of uh, acquisitions. You are getting, uh, you are spending your money in acquisitions. Do you have the intention to move those acquisitions to Baja, to Baja, California? This is um, we, we've talked about this. The, the amount of DNA probe we use in a year, you can hand, hold in one hand. So it's not a labor-intensive industry. Uh, and I think right now, if I had a company that was manufacturing a lot of products in California, I would seriously consider moving it to, to Baja, California. Um, the only opportunity I can see is the instruments. Now, we have one instrument that we're selling now called Tigris. It cost about $400,000. We sell some. We don't sell enough to, to mass produce them like automobiles. Uh, we have another instrument called Panther. It's going to be less expensive, but we're only going to sell, you know, 100 packs a year. Uh, so it doesn't justify pulling up stakes. Right now, we have a contract manufacturer in New Hampshire. We design it work with them to, to make sure it's all uh, manufacturable and then they manufacture for us. Uh, if you had a company here existing now, contract manufacturer, we'd certainly consider it. I'm not aware that you do. 
So it'll take time. I mean, like biotechnology, they were looking for antibody products in 1978. It took until 1994 to get the first product on the market. Be patient. Alguna otra pregunta? Acá tenemos otra. Adelante. Uh, hi there, Mr. Nordorf. Um, I'm here over here. Where are you? There, uh, here. On the left, on your right. I see you. There you are. <laughs> um, in your opinion, um, how could we attract incubation of new products to our area and take into consideration a couple of things? One, the burn rate that you're facing in incubation in the United States as compared to the burn rate that you would face here would probably be between 30 and 40 percent of that. Also, we believe that we have, in this area at least, the engineers and the technology available to, cre to provide the options for incubation. So what would you suggest we do? What process would you suggest we follow to be able to not just lease out our employees, but rather make them the innovators and the entrepreneurs of the future? Thank you. That's a great question. I wish I knew the answer to it. I can pause it. I, I can give you my opinion on it. Um, one, advertise, support. Uh, if you have students, if you have universities who have some, some interesting developments, make sure they have a, a business transfer office and make sure that they publish, not just in Mexico, but in the United States as well, that they have these things in scientific journals. So one, establish a reputation of your research in Mexico. Two, get the best people you have and fund them. Go out on a limb and have the government take some of these government discovered products, put money out, and give them a shot. And the government can take a stake in the company and employ the people. Because nothing breeds success like success. If you have an interesting product, chemical entity that looks like it's gonna cure something, an important disease, develop it, have the government fund it, state government, universities, whatever, be able to afford some of your best students to continue to develop it, get experienced business people in there, do it, and then once it's successful, tell people. Tell them that this was conceived, developed, manufactured, and sold in Baja, and success will attract others. ¿Alguna otra preguntita? Tenemos nada más un, un minutito, una pregunta más, si alguien está interesado, porque pues ya aquí está el micrófono. Hi, how are you? Um, the big pharmaceutical companies uh, may not, I don't know, may not be interested in, in biotechnology because biotechnology resolve a, a problem, a, a health problem, and the pharmaceutical com uh, companies just fix a little or, or, or some part of the health problem. Are you... Uh, your company or the companies that are working on biotechnology, are they fighting against the big pharmaceutical companies? Or the big pharmaceutical companies are putting their eyes in, in, in your business? Um, in, I worked for Pfizer for 16 years, had a 